Hey everyone, back out working on Bernie. I actually have decided to try to get the hood put on here so that I can mark it out and start cutting spots out for the zoomies and this. Some of you have asked, and yes, we are putting a hood on it. I don't know if it's gonna stay on it through burnouts and all that stuff, but I do think it would look cool with the hood back on it and then having this and the zoomies sticking out of it. So we're gonna go ahead. I ended up actually ordering, uh, we had this hinge here from it. I don't know where the other stock one went, so I ordered one off eBay, got that hinge there. And we already have the springs and stuff, so ended up missing, losing uh, that hinge somewhere along the lines. I don't remember ever seeing it when I got the truck, so now we can get a hood on it, try to get it all mounted, cut the holes, and then uh, move on to the next thing on this truck, but that is the project for now. Well, we welded this one up with the hinge in place, and down it clears with it coming up at just that little bit of angle, and then the angle... That this comes up at it uh it hits but I, no no fear i think a four inch cutoff wheel can trim this up just enough and then we will uh hopefully be in business same with that one over there touches the header just a skosh so we're gonna go ahead and trim these up and then try again there's a wheel there's a way quick uh work with the four inch cutoff wheel and now now we got hood hinges that clear so now we're gonna be good gonna actually take the air cleaner off so the hood can shut down, shut it down until it rubs right here, and then I can mark out where I need to cut for this and that, and uh, go from there. I also still need to weld up my little thing where that broke. Weld these up a little bit heavier so that they will stay together. Scratch the hood springs because we actually don't use those. It uses a prop rod and no spring, so easy enough. We got the hinges on there now. We can try it. It would lift this hood up there and get it set. It's a it's a clean one. That's well, all right. Maybe it's not a clean one, but. We'll get this thrown up on here, pop that air cleaner off, and set it down and start start figuring out where I gotta start cutting. Bernie's got a hood. Well, not quite, but. So I'm not quite sure how we ended up with headers that were a little tighter on this side than this side when we use the angle iron on both to hold uh, spacing, but this side is a little bit tighter, so unfortunately it's gonna be real tight up against this rib right here. So I'm just trying to go just to the inside of this rib. So I can keep this structural support, notch this hole for these. Uh, so I've kind of done some layout rough. It's pretty tight, but I'm, so I'm guessing I'm gonna have to open it up a little bit. But if I can get it pretty close and then I can massage it out to make it work there. Uh, and then this side's gonna have a little bit more gap on it as far as hood out here. So I wasn't, not too sure how I wanna even it up, um, but it is what it is. So I'm going to come over here and measure out this side, try to make me a little slot, and hopefully get the hood to shut, and then work on the center hole. Which Alex and I were just talking, it's probably not going to be centered, unfortunately. So uh, the engine does send off center in the truck. So yeah, I mean, well, I mean, it might be, it's not going to be way off, but it's going to be a little off. So um, just going to run a hole saw that's slightly bigger than where the what the tube is. Where did that tube go? so here is a piece of tubing from the headers as you guys can see it'll have a little bit of play so that's why i'm going to go ahead and use these to cut this so then it's already got a little bit of play uh it's going to be real close to tight it's going to be really tight when we close it on this edge here but i think because of the angle that they're at it'll end up evening out once this is fully shut and then just trying to figure out where this is going to end up being when it shuts it's kind of pain but like i said just trying to trying to get close and we will we'll go from there. Shit. <laughs> Are you sure? I am positive this is how you build an S10. If your S10 does not have hoods, holes in the hood, then you're doing something wrong. All right, so hopefully my guesstimation works. And we're going to try to set this thing on there, see where it's at, and then possibly have to massage them a little bit more, but uh yeah i mean it's got it's got some holes in the hood now shoot look at that best looking part of the whole hood all right let's see what we got here it's starting to make some progress it's looking pretty decent it's a little difficult since it does come out an angle it's tight here when it's up and then it's tight over here when as it goes down so i'm just slowly working it down more and more i'm probably going to go ahead and call that a night uh, and then come out and keep massaging this outer edge. It's going to end up being more of a kind of flat with rounded corners, uh, like a rectangle with rounded corners. 
to make this work, but otherwise not looking too bad. Uh, and then trying to work it down with a gap. See, it's still tight here, so that means that the hood needs to come this way some, which will mean this needs to be opened up a little bit so the, the hood can kind of twist this way, if you will. So, uh, But otherwise, not too bad. It's going to look pretty neat, I think. And then having the big you know, air cleaner that's over there sticking out of the front, uh, it's actually not going to look so crazy once, I mean, there's the first look. I don't know how many years this thing's probably been sitting without a hood on it. It's probably at least uh, four or five years now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, keep working on that. All right, guys, now there's a big old hole right there. So I spent a few evenings and stuff working on this whole thing, trying to get that right. Uh, so actually, once you shut the hood, you have to put the air cleaner on afterwards. It's kind of a pain, but... Um, without having a gigantic hole, that's what it needs to be. But otherwise, there's a slot there for that. Uh, it does have a little bit of room all the way around it, so the exhaust can move. It might uh, need some more finessing, but we got to get it fired up to see really how much the pipes move. Went ahead and welded this back, so that stays. You guys can see the uh, little intake right there. So I'm gonna try to get the hood all set. We just got that back uh, on. Let's see if our hood release works. Oof. A little tight but it works so we're going to uh probably adjust this a little bit and then we'll fire this thing up make sure everything looks good now it's got a hood well there it is holes are cut in the hood everything's on you would have to remove the uh thing because otherwise the hole would have to be like clear out here to cover that once it's up but uh otherwise pretty neat i was going to go and crank it up we'll see if it hits the hood or not and then we'll know if we got to clearance it some more Still need to space that starter out a little bit. Alright everyone, that is going to be it for this episode. We got the hood on Bernie. Bernie is ready to go. Maybe a little bit of paint, some more safety equipment, but we are ready to full send this thing. We just need a burnout contest to hit to do it. And now, on to Clyde. Clyde is getting ready for Rocky Mountain Race Week. We will be taking him again this year. So we got a few little things we need to do. So if this is your first video, you made it all the way through it, and you want to see some more content, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.